Hi everyone, how are we doing? Is everybody doing well? Is my music so loud? That's what I need to overpower our, our time. Hey Lisa, hey Dana, hey Dara. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to have you. Yes, it's a beautiful evening. I'm okay. I hope you're also doing well. Thank you for all those that are already liking the content even before it begins. Are you hearing the me? Are you hearing the music? Follow your eyes. Kill us fall in love with you. Help us continue to keep falling in love with you over and over. Things are new. Hey. Guys, the word is so sweet. It's about falling in love. That is just exactly what it is. Falling in love. Falling in love with you. Mm. <laughs> oh my God. Oh Lord, my God, my Father. Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you, Lord, even as we gather here in your presence. We thank you for this word. We pray it will be life. It will be a confirmation. It will be encouraging to all of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for all that, the, all those that are waiting on you. All of us that are waiting on you for our kingdom marriages, Lord. The, all of us that are waiting on you to fall in love. All of us that have been waiting and pursuing friendly the promise that you made to us that we shall not lack our met in the mighty name of jesus amen 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 guys the word is so short and very clear so short and very clear yesterday yesterday i was i was on social media not yesterday i think the day before yesterday i was on social media and i discovered one of those guys previously that used to like uh, like me ask me out and uh, I confidently went on a date and just said, no, we can't work. The two of us are not a match. It will not work. And uh, in a lot of love, and I asked him to feel free to go ahead with his life. And we continue praying for each other. So this guy finally has found himself love. And uh, he was doing like uh, the introduction part, you know, the way the guy goes to introduce himself to the family of the wife to be or rather the bride to be. So it was posted on Facebook. And I remember everyone was congratulations, happy for you. I also put mine. Congratulations are in order. <laughs> and then after leaving social media, I was just like, oh, my God, <laughs> what is happening to me? Everyone that used to ask me out, is now getting married. In fact, of them are married now. In fact, all the guys who used to uh, ask me out, and for sure, for sure, I knew they are not the one. You know, when you know and you know, you know, they are good guys, but just not for me. Not to tarnish anyone's character. They are good guys, but not just for me. So I was asking God, so I was just mentioning the, the guys because uh, three of them, I saw uh, their ongoings on social media and I had to write my congratulations because it's the truth that I'm happy for them, that I'm happy for them, including the person that I broke up with last year. He's getting married this month. Guys, welcome to the world. <laughs> but I'm just thankful for every moment because as I was mentioning uh, all those names and I was asking God, so what? And the Lord was like, as you have mentioned, that all of them have gotten other people. And all those people are not you. None of that of the ladies that was picked by any of that guy, of any of those guys, was not me. And the Lord said, the coast is clear now. 
exactly just as I said. That's what he said. The cost is clear now. I mean, they used to be there. They were asking you out and they were asking you out uh, on the verification of my kingdom spouse to be because I told you guys we were working the same organization. Then when my kingdom spouse to be left uh, for another continent, they started like asking me out there like, you know what, we can as well help this girl <laughs> by marrying her or dating her. But in God's wisdom, I didn't say yes to any of them because I felt that it didn't just feel right. And I was just mentioning everyone's name, just like so-and-so God uh, getting married, so-and-so is getting married, so-and-so is getting, and the Lord said, now that the list is done, the cost is clear. The cost is clear. And I was like, what do you mean? He said, it's so clear who is remaining on the list. And I said the name of my best friend who happens to be my kingdom spouse to be. And the Lord was like, that's it. The cost is clear now and this is not just for me i mean for me it is a, a real confirmation but god is also putting this word out there for someone else to tell you that the cost is clear now the cost is clear now you've come out of that uh confusing stage where there are seven men coming after you and all of them seem to be good husbands but not just the right one i mean you can get married to any of the seven but god says mm, they are good but not for the agenda i have for your lives and god is just saying the cost is clear now i was just like wow that god pushed away all these guys he has given them their rightful spouses I hope they are the right spouses. I believe they are the right spouses because I can't say much about their relationships. But on my case, the cost is clear now. It is so evident that the last man standing is my kingdom spouse to be. The person that God revealed to me over and over and over. The cost is clear now. So the most interesting thing is today I was doing my dishes and uh, today morning I was doing dishes and listening to a sermon and I started remembering uh, some time back when uh, both of us were still, when he was still around in Kenya and we were close neighbors. He brought a friend with him, a, a friend of his had come to visit him but because my house it was before getting to his house, he decided to bring that friend of his, who happened to be our workmate too, to come and greet me because we, we were such just honest friends. And so they came to my house and I remember telling them, oh, you don't, when you go to your place, don't eat because I'll make something for you guys to come and then you can come so that we can snack and just dine and just tell stories, you know, and just catch up together, the three of us. And uh that particular friend that my best friend, my kingdom supposed to be brought, called me just before I logged on here. He's the person that called me before I logged on here. And we were just conversing and I was just like, how comes you've really kept my contact? I'm just like, wow, this is so impressive. Like it's been so many years we stopped working together. I mean, he got married, has a kid now. And I'm just like, you still have my contact and you care enough just to ring me and just greet me. And as we were conversing, he was also telling me, you know, I've been thinking about so-and-so a lot as we've been talking on this phone call. Can, can you give me his contact so that I can reach him? I'm just like, yeah, in fact, you should reach him because he'll be so excited. The irony is that I was thinking about that event in the morning and I was thinking about this particular friend and in the evening, just before I come on live, he's the person that calls me. And you know what he said? He, was, he gave a very positive affirming statement regarding my kingdom husband to be. And he said he's one of the most purest people he has ever met. I was just like, you know, the way you try and pull yourself out of this thing, you're like, ah, God, I don't think it's, it's this thing. I think it's almost like a lie. And God is just like, okay, I will just bring forth a very 
a phone call that is going to confirm this thing to you with so much clarity and weight. And those words just latched on me and I was just like, yes, it's true. That's one of his great characteristics. What you see is what you get, pure in heart, pure in spirit. I mean, there's no lie. I was just like, oh my God, that is a confirmation. And that's what the coast is clear now really got me. I was just like, yes. I mean, all these other guys are now out of my way. I don't have to worry about them coming back to my life. No, they are not. Now they are all committed in relationships. The only person who is still single is my kingdom spouse to be. And God says the cost is clear now. And for you too, you know what your situation is like. It doesn't have to be at proposal stage. It could be at that uh, level of just God giving you a very clear knowing that this is the person. This is your journey. This is what is expected of you. The cost is clear now. It's going to be so clear. Have you guys ever gone to the beach when when the waves have cleaned up all the, the, the seaweed that lies on the sand? Have you ever just seen a very clean coast, uh, coastline of the beach or uh, a clean beach line? If you have not, just, when you live here, go and Google photos of a clean beach line or a clean coastline. And just see how it looks like. It's just so clean. It's beautiful. And one interesting thing is I've always wanted to have a beach wedding. That has been my dream and my desire to have a beach wedding. And for some reason, I started uh, uh, killing that dream. I don't know. I think I was just thinking maybe I am too demanding sometimes. And I was just like, ah, whatever it happens, it happens. But when God said that word that the cost is clear, I had him so clearly and I was on my bed. He said the cost is clear now. And I remember the first thing that came to my spirit was my childhood desire to have a, a beach wedding, a beachfront wedding. Yes, a beachfront wedding. I was just like, wow. Guys, when you stay in line with God, all things will be so clear, so clear. Sometimes the journey might be very intense, but when you are in step and aligned with God, things will be so clear, there will be no confusion in it. And just to crown it, uh, I woke up from a dream today, and I remember uh, we were like at an event, like a, a social event where people go hang out, listen to music, buy things. And I remember um, I, I was there by myself. Then suddenly uh, my kingdom spouse appeared and he came with money. So I was, I was like at a place trying to buy things. Then I just saw him give uh, money, like a bundle of, uh, of, of, of notes to pay for what I was, for what I, I had ordered. And I was like, oh, okay. And after he paid, I, I saw he had, uh, you know, the way you have a waist bag, a waist bag. You, if you, for those who work out, for those who go for expedition hiking, there's the way you have a, a waist bag. So he had a waist bag and he, in that waist bag he had put, it only had money. So he had, he, he had some money left and he put it back into that waist bag that still had more money. And it was like, he was telling me that anything you need, I'll cater for, like my money is your money, it's our money. In short, it, he was giving me the signal of provision because I had ordered for something and suddenly I, I see him paying for it. I didn't spend any of, my, or any of my money. And after I had taken what I had ordered, I saw ourselves like, you know, the way you go for a picnic and you just uh, lie on grass. I, I saw ourselves just lie down like that. And he still had the, that uh, West, West what? Is it a West pocket? I, I, I'm like a West bag still that had money. And I was just, I was just like, God, what dream is that? What does that dream even mean? 
And by the time I'm waking up in the morning to asking God all these, like, hey, God, these guys have gotten married. What about me? And God says the coast is clear now. And then I remember the dream that I woke up from. I saw my kingdom spouse to be. So, guys, it will be so clear as day and night. It will be so clear. Stay in tune with God. And as I say, if your journey is meant to be a little bit longer, don't hurry the process. Just go with God. Move with the timing of God. My journey has taken a complete seven good years. And I'm not complaining. If anything, I'm praising God because I feel I'm mature now. I'm ready. I have become a better person by myself by myself because i used to be lazy i used to be all those things that are not just beautiful i use yeah if laziness is not beautiful i i use not even to understand my purpose i got to discover all that and now i feel ready i i will not feel lost when i get married i will not feel confused of what to do when i'm married when i'm with my spouse because everyone has their own calling everyone has something that God will give you to do so that you don't uh, wear each other out in marriage, you know. That is why we are required to be complete. You're required to be fully aware of yourself, to fully know what exactly are you supposed to accomplish. And the other thing also, I yesterday I woke up from a dream that I was, I was nursing babies. Like I had, I was given new on babies and I remember there were two babies and one of them was literally on my bed you know like the way a mother has finished breastfeeding a child and has just laid the baby besides herself that's exactly what I saw in the dream and I'm just like oh my god I'm here praying for more travel and then the best dream you can give me tonight is babies me nursing babies so guys this means that these marriages are going to because you have waited longer, your testimony will be so quick. It will bear fruit in a very short season. You will not, you will not, you will not be able to account when you got married, had the babies, and now they are, you're just like, oh my God, everything happened so fast. I've been watching the, I've been, uh, I've been following one of my friends. And I remember she got, oh, she also got married at 30, 31, thereabout. But right now, she has two children, a husband, a booming business. She's looking way younger than she was single. And I'm just like, God, when did all this happen for my friend? Like, it was just yesterday she got married. People that were married ahead of her are still waiting on God for children. But she got married at late she was almost the kind of people left behind. She got married late, but the people who went ahead of her are looking at her as a point of admiration because they're like, you got married after us and you've just come in, you've gotten your two babies and you, you seem like you're done, your businesses are prospering, your husband is so in love with you, you know? And God says, it will be so fast. It will be so, so fast. Fast. It will happen so fast you will not even be able to keep up with time. You will not even be able to keep up with time. So guys, believe, 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 believe. It is that season again to fall in love. It is that season again. God is, is doing this for the glory of his name. God is doing this for the glory of his name. Yes, don't give up yet. So that's the word for today. It's very simple. Better than life. Be the cost is clear now. It will be so clear. There will be no confusion in this. There will be no confusion in this. So, Father God, we thank you. We thank you that you're encouraging all of us, Lord. For those that are still waiting on you for confirmations, Lord, you will show yourself faithful to them. Lord, you will avail everything that is needed for life, for godliness, for the weddings, the appropriate place for the dates, how, how people are going to meet. 
Thank you, King of Glory, because it is that season for falling in love, and not just with the man, but with you as well, Lord. Teach us, Lord. Falling in love with you. With you. Yes, Lord. We want to fall in love with you. You also want to fall in love with our spouses and encourage us to keep going to listen to you. Oh my God, this, this song just makes me want to worship God. I just love hearing from God. And uh, that's it. Hey, Queen Quay is the coast clear from. <laughs> you need to go back and listen to the whole word because I am done and I'm about to end this vlog. You're welcome. So please go listen to the word from the beginning and you will know what it's all about. God bless you guys. Keisha, see you. Bye-bye, people. Yes, the coast is clear. And be encouraged. Don't, don't move from the promise. Again. Mm -hmm. Hey, Elizabeth. Yes, good to see you guys. If you've not listened to the word from the beginning, please go back and listen to it. It will bless your heart. You will understand what we are talking about. And it's a good night from Kenya. If you're new, subscribe, like, share, comment. Bye, bye, bye. Falling in love with you. Can I just keep falling? Amen. Bye-bye.